Hi, here we have a lamp which was bought at the local IKEA stall. As you can see, it's got all the standards on it. It's a 7 watt, 50, 60 hertz, 22, uh, 222 40 volts, made in China, and it was one that was bought January 2007, so it's several years old. Now, what I did with it was to remove the coating. It had like a rubberized silicon coating over the glass. This reduced the light, so it was removed. Anyhow, what is interesting to note with this, and whether it would be acceptable to, to today, I don't know. Although you do need mercury to work these, these lamps. But you see a little glass tube at the side there. You look down at the bottom, you see a little, a little drop of mercury. You turn it over, the mercury has now dropped to the other end of the tube. Whether that would be acceptable today, I don't know. I know they have reduced the, the mercury content quite considerably. I've got an idea this would not be accepted now. It might have even been, been the reason they had that silicon coating on it, because you wouldn't have noticed it then. But anyhow, this bulb, I believe, was manufactured by a company called Megaman, because I have seen the same lamp with their name on it and not the IKEA name. So it's very likely, it's in fact made by that same company. Anyhow, let's put it in and see what happens. It's, it, it is a, a very low wattage bulb. There she goes. I can dim this one down as, as well. It's actually on full voltage at the moment and I'm dropping it down. We're now just about 100 volts. And it's still a light. It's cut off now. Striking. It's trying to strike now. now it's, that's heating the two heaters up at each end of the tube. And that's struck. And it's striking at just over 100 volts. There's the bulb to give you an idea of the size. Anyhow, any comments please make. Once again, thank you for watching. Please subscribe. And many thanks again. Thank you.